right guys it is Friday morning it's a beautiful but cloudy day here in Siem Reap should be good though at least according to my weather app there's not supposed to be any rain I have learned not to trust that though <laughs> Again, I want to give a uh, shout out to my subscribers. The video I did yesterday and all the uh, ingredients I bought at the local market, many of which I didn't know what they were. A few people pointed out and told me exactly what they were. Uh, Ricky informed me that uh, <laughs> that thing that looked like a pale. <clears throat> banana a pale hard banana well, was actually a white radish never had those before so I didn't know what it was now I do the packages I bought of seasoning <clears throat> one the one that I thought was sugar was sugar <clears throat> the other bag was salt and the umami flavoring that I got I was informed by another subscriber that that is uh, actually MSG I just thought you guys should know that if uh, you have issues with MSG if you don't eat it don't like it stay away from the umami flavoring I think I've said this before, but I have no food allergies or issues with any kind of food that I'm aware of. You would think living as long as I have, I would know, but the fact is, there's a lot of food I haven't ate yet. <laughs> I've never had, <clears throat> for whatever reason. And I guess there's always a chance that if I eat one of those foods, it could have an adverse effect on my system. But as far as I know, I don't have any kind of issues with food or allergies or anything like that. But once again, subscribers come through. And I learn something new every day. I also want to mention that... Uh, let me see, we ate twice with, with that, with that uh, rice cooker full of food. From the haul I got yesterday for $9. We ate twice yesterday. Already ate once today. The rice cooker is still more than half full. <clears throat> we should get, I don't know, two or three more meals out of it. I mean, it was just a complete and utter uh, home run, bargain wise, money wise. Nine bucks that is going to feed us for a long time. We also have some rice, so if we want to mix it up and have rice instead of noodles we can do that but it was a great great deal I also want to say that the uh, silverware and the plates and the bowls and the silverware and the knife all that was a one-time purchase uh, because I didn't have any so that was an extra nine dollars but I don't count that toward the meal because uh, it's not something I have to buy every time. The same way actually with all the seasonings and the sauces. Bought three bottles of sauces, uh, three bags of different seasonings. And there's enough there to last a long time, two or three months I would, I would think. So again, you take away the price of those and the food itself, just the basic ingredients that, uh, for cooking, uh, probably only came to like uh, six, seven dollars. Yeah, probably about six bucks. The seasonings and sauces was about three. So it is a really, really good deal. I'm on my way to the bank right now. That's where I prefer to go to change my bigger bills into smaller bills. 
I'd rather wait in line for a few minutes and know the bill the smaller bills I'm getting back are actually real and and not torn or anything so I'm gonna go do that and then uh, a little bit later later we're going to be going to the Sarlu market which is the big huge ginormous never-ending market in the middle of uh, Highway 6. So I'll talk to you guys when we get there. See ya. Back at the apartment now before we go to Sarlu. We had to stop and buy some mangoes. I don't know if you heard about this, but mango and rice is a big deal in Southeast Asia. Some people actually say it's their favorite thing to eat here. <clears throat> I do love mangoes. And they were only 75 cents for <laughs> like five great big ones which is good but I wanted to show you this it's a new energy drink here you think you may recognize it you would be wrong it is not monster but mutant <laughs> energy drink uh, for everything in the West there is a local equivalent at some point now when it comes to energy drinks I've never been really big on them I used to drink one Every day at work, uh, eight hour shift, it would last me most of the night, usually at least six hours. I didn't know people that could chug them though. They would bring like three or four for one shift. I can never do that because I don't want my heart to explode. Good? Yeah. But uh, when I saw these, I had to get them there because they're, they're full size, just like a can of Monster would be in the West. And uh, they're only 2,500 real each, which is like 60 cents. Actually, two, two is 5,000 real, so that's $1.25. So, you know, a little over 60 cents each as opposed to $2 each for these back in the United States. I got to say, it doesn't taste bad. But, you know, it tastes like an energy drink. And that could be good or bad depending on how you feel about it. But I wanted to show you that real quick before we eat and head out. I see she's already started, so I am going to join in. Talk to you later. Hey guys, we're on our way to uh, Sarlu Market. This road is kind of bumpy. So I'm trying not to talk. So my voice doesn't sound like this. <laughs> Yeah, uh, there we go. We're on more solid ground now. Headed to Sarlu. And everybody seems to enjoy a tuk tuk ride. It's like I said before, I, uh, the distance to Sarlu isn't a big deal. I walked further before and I'm sure I will again but uh, as you can see Sarlu is along this road here which is uh, National Highway 6 and it's all businesses and vehicles and uh, there is like no shade here <laughs> rarely can you stop or rarely can you walk and be in the shade for a period of time if you have to stop underneath a tree or something. So it's not the distance, but it's a very, very hot walk. The sun's not really out today, but uh, we took that walk downtown. And we'll probably be walking back, so I decided to take a tuk-tuk ride to get here.
it is uh, later in the afternoon. Normally, when you go to these markets, you I, w I would prefer to get there uh, either in the morning or you know slightly afternoon. Right now, it's about two o'clock, so all the really good fresh stuff is going to be gone probably. But still, they got that big indoor market with lots of uh, stuff, basically anything you could want. So there's always something to look at. Yeah. Talk to you when I get there. All right, guys, we're made it to Sarlu Market. Craziness, craziness. I love it. Bought an electronic wok or an electric wok to go along with a rice cooker. Got a really good deal. Went down from 28 to 20. And also bought a $1 uh, spatula like thing to go with it. Something to stir the uh, stir fry or saute the meat. Since I've never had dishes where in my apartment, I also never had dishwashing liquid or a sponge or anything to wash them with. So I picked up that too, but that was negligible. I think it was a a dollar for two sponges and a and a thing of dish soap. So yeah, it was a bit uh it was a bit hot in there at first we were walking around trying to find the uh, place that sold these I mean there were a lot of places that sold uh, like rice cookers and pots and pans and those uh, propane burners but the electric wok seemed to be a kind of a rare thing here Just spent about an hour in there and we found uh, two places that sold them. One guy, the first guy, they both wanted uh, $28 to begin. But the uh, the first gentleman that I tried to bargain with would not go below $25. He was just hardcore set, nothing below $25. I asked him if he would throw in a free spatula with that and he said no. That was my cue to leave. He obviously didn't want to bargain too much. The second guy did the uh, typical thing that I like. Uh, he hemmed a hawed and he pretended like $20 was way too low, but then he gave me the sigh, nodded his head and go, okay, for you, for you, 20. <laughs> I like that they try to make you think you won even though you really didn't. They, they made money and I've said this before and I'll reiterate it here uh, you will get nothing here no matter how hard you bargain if they are not going to make money on it they will just refuse so you might go away thinking you're a master negotiator but you should know deep down inside that they are really happy with the profit they made And that's not to say they ripped you off. I don't think I got ripped off. That seems a fair deal. It's heavy duty. He took it out of the box, brand new, plugged it in, showed me that it worked. But he didn't make a profit. A fair, honest profit. And that should be the case when negotiating. We both walked away happy. Thank yous, and I'll see you later all the way around. So that's definitely a win. Don't know when exactly we're going to be using this. But since we put the uh, rice cooker on that little table in the main room, we have room on the counter for the wok for when we want to just fry up something quick or cook it. All right getting out of here gonna get a tuk tuk back talk to you guys later all right friday night on the way back from downtown 
I see the appeal of uh, mango and rice together. I <laughs> know. It's two things I never thought uh, I would want to put together. But from watching videos and doing research before I came here, uh, not only here, but in all of Southeast Asia, that seems to be a thing. As I said before, a lot of people have said that the uh, mango and sticky rice in Thailand was one of their favorite ever things to eat. But I get it now. This thing made a, a rice cooker full of rice. Peeled some mangoes. Of course, over here, they're always in season, so they're fresh, they're ripe, they're big. And that perfect combination, that nice little spoonful of rice with a big chunk of mango on top. Oh, it works so well. It works so well. The starchiness of the rice and then the sweetness and of the mango is just perfect. I understand it. And I also learned something today, or yesterday, actually, when we bought the rice. Uh, I always thought sticky rice was a way of making regular rice. Like they took regular rice and then used the technique to make it into sticky rice. I was incorrect. There's actually a type of rice you call you buy called sticky rice. <laughs> if you want to make sticky rice. It was kind of confusing for me when we went shopping for it because uh, it was like, I don't know, 12, 13 big, huge bags full of rice. All different varieties. I mean, there are, every single bag was different. I saw types of rice I didn't know existed. But we settled on the jasmine. But like I said, they had the other varieties also. But yeah, we made that earlier. Along with a, a sweet sausage. And it was a great, great snack. And cheap, of course. <laughs> anyway, we just went down to the market here. Ran out of bananas. There we go. Got another big bag of bananas. Also got some uh, some veggies and herbs for tomorrow. I'm not sure how much all that came to, but I can figure it out when I get home. And the reason is because uh, whenever we go uh, shopping at a local place, what I like to do is just give uh, Seng all the real I have in my pocket. Uh, it's usually no more than, I don't think I usually carry more than five bucks. But I'm surprised at the thing she buys and keeps buying with that 20,000 real. I think I had, I think I had a little bit less than, I think I had 15,500 real in a stack that I gave her. That is not quite four dollars. I know she still has some left over, but uh, for everything we got, that's again, I don't mean to harp on it, but that's an incredible deal. And that includes uh, uh, some more pork that we're going to put in the fridge, and now that we got the wok. We can get something going with that. Yeah, like I said, the bananas and those other little fruits in there, I'm still not sure what they are. And then all of that, there's meat in there, there's eh, fruits and vegetables, so herbs. All that was less than $4. I love this place. Anyway, I should have crossed the street right there, but I was too busy talking. But uh, I'll end the vlog here. And there's something I'm going to show you guys tomorrow. And I'll make you an offer you can't refuse. Well, you might refuse. 
you can refuse it if you want but uh it'll be a surprise i'll do that tomorrow see you guys in the next one